Hi everyone and welcome back to another Bork No Game video. Today's video is dedicated to some dailies and a shop guide. So let's go ahead and jump right into this. Right here on the left corner, you can see it says mission. Click that. This is going to be an important area because right here, daily support funds, you can get up to 4,000 Eternium every single day. Just get them, you know, before reset or as you're playing throughout the day. And this will be easy ways to get more progression throughout the game or to play more. And then not to mention, there's going to be this support fund box, which gives you 50,000 credits and 800 info. Very important through progression in the game all right i like this one quite a bit and then right here in the new year's or missions make sure to grab these and do these every single day right now i'm on day five and i need to complete these to get all these free goodies on day seven they actually give you some quartz and then on day six you actually get some free gear which is also going to be very nice we'll be doing like a gear guide and all that stuff in another video but i'm still progressing so i want to progress through content before i make those videos and note here that this is going to be ending in 30 days so make sure to complete these as soon as possible because this is all just free rewards that's just sitting here waiting for you to grab it not to mention this one i have to jump into the orca side missions we'll talk about that in a bit get this because it's kind of hidden away from the menu and it's not really showcased there's no end date for this particular thing so get this 4000 eternium and this support fun box right there in the corner all right next one being missions the biggest mission that i want to point out for your daily missions is going to be the dispatch mission at the bottom all right the dispatch mission at the bottom is going to give you a summon it doesn't want to work with me it doesn't want to show it for some reason but just note that there's a summon down there if you can do the dispatch missions all right and dispatch missions are going to be like going here into world map and these are going to be providing you all the different dispatch missions don't forget to do like your daily stuff here because you will most likely get a raid or a dive every single day usually it's upon reset or something like that just make sure to do them all right go here into the operations section and tell you about the important bits if you go into covert ops this is going to be an important place to get info what is info going to be used for it's going to be used for skill ups it's going to be used for stack operations if you don't know what stack operations is it's going to be this right here once you three star a stage you can essentially do multiple runs at once that's going to be very important from a time saving perspective perspective instead of doing like repeat operations where you essentially wait for each run to pretty much run that is going to be very like mind-blowing and i hate like waiting to do like repeat operations so make sure to do stack operations going to be a great way to save you on a lot of time all right so info being very important in order to unlock these two you had to complete mainstream ep3 all the way hard mode all right that's the way to get this one and then if you jump back make sure to do your simulations every single day i think that's sort of like self-explanatory in some ways but when it comes to using these tickets right here the simulation ones make sure to save them until you can get around like the 90 range then feel free to spam them when it comes to this i made a short video on how to do anti-air training feel free to check that out when it comes to this one this is all about setting up your team to have like more strategic tanks so you distract like the air units this one's a straight up like a knockback test while also dpsing them down it'll work out and then when it comes to special attack training this is just a straight dps check so you can only do it once you have enough dps there's no like gimmicks like this one's a knockback gimmick and this one's like a timing defender when you jump back here the next thing that i want us to focus on is side story orca like one of the missions that you have to do for the 30 day thing i haven't been tackling it personally because i've been focusing on other things we'll talk about it later but this is going to be a great place to get free character shards you can get a free character or free orca from here so make sure to jump in here same thing with the john mason tab you can also get his character if you complete his task and essentially there's going to be a mission to unlock this chica as well if you want this waifu so make sure to go in here essentially do these things there's going to be like three missions that you can do every single day as far as like everything else goes not much here in mainstream all right so let's go ahead and jump into the other bits which is going to be the shop all right now when it comes to the shop there's not much here that you can buy daily like on this main screen where you have to spend money unless like you're a whale but we're not really going to talk about that if you go here into the exchange center yes you can do refreshes on the shop personally i'm saving my quartz for the black tickets or the classified tickets if you don't know what i'm talking about we'll jump right here this is going to be the tie dock that i talked about in the previous video credits out to the people who created this dock thank you so much when it comes to this, these black tickets will cost 2,750 quartz for a pack of 220 tickets. 220 tickets being essentially one multi and two summons. We'll do some summons after this, but just note this is going to be an important feature. So make sure to save your quartz. Note that the pity transfers across banners for these awakening unit banners. We'll show that banner later on. Just note that you should definitely save your quartz for this particular summon currency, all right? Think of them as like mystic summons or ML summons, something like that in epic seven terms. 
terms. And then when it comes to this, there's nothing really worth to buy in resources, in my opinion, unless you're a whale and you want to push content, then feel free to buy the Eternium. And then when it comes to the convenience goods, personally, the only thing that I think is worth buying, and we talked about how quartz you should save them, but I think it's worth buying the simulation tickets. Maybe buy one, you can buy two if you're feeling a little gutsy. Outside of that, I think like the one is really good just to buy because it's going to be 30 quartz and that's going to be progression that can help you throughout the game. Emotes and backgrounds, you know, that's all vanity stuff. Feel free to buy this when you have time. Planet Mall, make sure to save this currency. There's going to be a future tab that's going to have operators. We'll talk about it once we get into the KR section, but make sure to save this currency. This stuff is all a trap currently. When it comes to raids, you know, you have to do raids in order to unlock these. Honestly, raids aren't worth it in the current time modes that we are at. Raids will be worth it more in like the later, later game when we have more world map branches unlocked. This isn't something that we should really worry about in the beginning game. When it comes to dives, I feel like this is going to be more important. You should do a lot of dives so you can get the best ships in the game. We'll talk about the best ships in another video. You should buy these special ship schematics in order to get the weeklies, all right? Why are the words in this game so difficult to say? Schematics, like, oh my goodness. Okay, go to a consortium. Feel free to buy this stuff out, but honestly, you should wait until the future when Fusion Core is pretty much released and then talk about the Fusion Core stuff later. And when it comes to business cards, I feel like you should buy like most of these out and we'll talk about more about the business cards. You can also buy this perfect thank you gift. We'll do some summons on this later so we can get possibly a stake. There's a stake in here that I desperately need. Don't know what the stake is. We're going to learn you today. So the next thing that we need to cover is going to be here in KR and we're going to talk about the shop updates that will occur in KR. So the first thing we are back in the business card section. The thing that you really want to buy are these fusion cores. All right. So make sure to essentially save your business cards. It only takes like 150 to buy these out weekly. I'm pretty sure this is out weekly. So you can do that. Feel free to do so. And then when it comes to this, I said save your consortium currency so you can buy out the fusion cores i'm pretty sure this is weekly as well because this had like the same symbols and stuff so buy this weekly it's going to be very nice and when it comes to these things nothing really to showcase here the most important part is going to be this planet shop right here all right when you jump here this is going to be the operator section you should definitely save for them all that you need to know about the operators is that they are going to make your teams much better so obviously you're going to need them they're going to be in a different tab if you're wondering you go here into the squad section right there's going to be a little section for the operators in the right hand corner within squad so right here it's going to say operator you're going to put the operator down you're going to do this and then now we have an operator that's going to give us you know some extra stats and stuff let's go ahead and go back into the shop just note that i'm not fully sure what those operators do they can be part of your crew and you're definitely going to need them okay the next thing being the fusion cores right here where you can buy them with quartz you can buy two daily but like we talked about earlier you should save it for the black tickets and that's going to to be it for this section so let's go ahead and jump back nope jump back one more time we're gonna go into the recruitment part now when it comes to recruitments for awakening characters it's really like topsy-turvy in some ways because it's going to be an expensive currency as you somewhat know so we're in the awakened banner right now in KR just note that this is going to use 220 tickets and right here you can see a multi cost 200 tickets so if you want to do this make sure to save your quartz to essentially buy this out if you're wondering where it's at let's go back into the shop in the first menu if you scroll all the way down i believe no it's not this section is it this section yep you can buy these out essentially weekly for you know the 2750 quartz that we talked about earlier but this is going to be very important for pvp in particular the only thing that awakened units really affect is pvp outside of that you can do everything in pve and for the sake of this video let's go ahead and do some summons if we can get this character right here she's apparently the best character in the entire game in kr if we get her then I'm keeping this account. If not, I'm going to reset all of my KR progress and try to reroll for her because yes, she is worth it. Now give it, <gasps> yes, is it, is it, is it? Oh, 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 oh my gosh, yes. Yes, we got winner, winner, chicken dinner. We are keeping this account. Thank you, gods. Yep, yep, that's some physics right there. Thank you, everyone helping me. Yeah, that was, that's a good high right there. Oh my goodness. Thank you, thank you, thank you. God bless everyone. I hope you all get lucky on your summons. For the KR portions, I'm going to be raising this character and keeping this account because this is absolutely amazing. All right, let's go ahead and circle back with everything. Jump here into missions. Make sure to claim the free Eternium right here. Make sure to do your missions right here, 30 days. Go into operations, the next things being make sure to 
do your supply operation, particularly the Cobra Ops, so you can get info to do stack operations so you can save yourself some time. And then go back, make sure to do your simulations. All right, the simulations being these things, all the daily grinds, you're gonna need this, dupes, skill ups, so on and so forth. This is going to be the EXP section. And then don't forget to jump here into side story. Feel free to get those character shards. I know this is like the least important one, but if you want a copy of Orca, she's pretty good. She's a striker unit. I recommend her for free to play. She's definitely going to be very nice on your experience, all right? And then when it comes to the shop, make sure to buy out a couple of things. Go into the shop list right here. Go into the exchange center. Buy out any binary that you see. I don't recommend refreshing yet. It's up to you. If you want to refresh, save your currency like we talked about. When it comes to convenience goods, the only thing that I think is worth buying is the simulation, you know, buying one ticket or two tickets. Feel free to buy like this set binary as well. If you want, you can buy it weekly. But honestly, I'm being stingy with my quartz because I want to do those awakens, all right? When it comes to the planet mall, save them for the operators. We talked about it earlier. And then when it comes to the consortium, save this because there's going to be a fusion core. And then when it comes to the business card, make sure to buy out like the weekly stuff and then save for the fusion cores that will come in the future. That's all there is within like the C gameplay that we have currently. We've already talked about fusion cores and all the other saving stuff. We can check that out in a different video. Feel free to go there. Anyways, if you made it this far in today's video, consider subscribing, dropping a like, leaving a comment, follow me on Twitch, follow me on Twitter. Let me know in the comments what you guys want for another video. Thanks so much for watching. Have yourself a fantastic day and see you in the next one.